Dude, I love the music. The hell? Another roadblock? My apologies. I'm afraid that was a blind spot. Well, shit. Yagamishi, how many guards are there? Hmm? Huh? There's just one. Just one? Well, in that case, let's just get that guard out of your way. You got a plan? <laughs> of course. Yagamishi, it's time to put that thing I gave you to use. You mean this ball or whatever? What does it even do? It's kind of like one of those anti-theft balls, actually. You fill that ball with powder or liquid and throw it at your target to blind them. Right. So what's inside this thing? Oh, just some peppers. Peppers? <laughs> Is this really gonna work? Now, now. Don't doubt the magician. Just take my word for it and let it fly. Uh -huh. Oh, damn. It worked like a charm. <laughs> what did I tell you? But, Yagamishi, I'm sure he won't be suspicious once. of anything. You have to procure a refill on your own. Yeah, I got it. Why is the roof so crowded? Hmm. Mysterious fruit? Delicious rooftop fruit. That's right. It's the tastiest. Iron plate. Everything I see that food related makes me so hungry. I didn't get breakfast this morning. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No. Oh, taken out. I actually keep the items, or do I have to keep the items again? Oh! Oh! Guys, too much rooftop fruit. Switch to normal difficulty? Oh, come on. I walk back and forth. Oh, he does. Will I ever play Hunt Showdown again? Maybe. Yeah, maybe. I had a good time when I played it. I don't know when, but I wouldn't. I wouldn't say never. Tsukumo, can you hear me? If I keep going down this way, I'll just end up back at the scene from earlier, right? The landing where you were accused of being a pervert? Yes, that's correct. You have any idea how it's looking right now? I'll take a look. There's no sign of that sharp girl who framed you. The onlookers seem to have dispersed too. Oh, then I'm good to go? There is one guard posted there. But I'm sure you can get past him. Yeah, piece of cake if he's alone. Oh, 
smokescreen powder? Hot skills are so on point. Nice. Is this the new Pokemon game? Yeah, I keep throwing balls at them, but they're not getting captured for some reason. Okay. I'm in class 2-2. Two -two. Strange. Nobody in sight. Roger that. <laughs> Seems like those guards were no trouble for you. Yeah, thanks to you. Well, better set up those speakers while I can. Good luck. Tsukumo, could you say something through the speakers? Oh, uh, testing. Testing. Today's forecast calls for sunshine and heavy security. Perfect. Your speakers are awesome, Tsukumo. Almost like you're in the room. Does this mean your setup is complete? Yeah, I've pretty much done what I can. Totally inconspicuous! Uh, oh, God. Huh? Oh, no, you don't. You stay your ass right there. Go get Yakun and the boys. I see you got security all riled up. They've been looking all over for you. The only option is to knock this mother out so hard that he doesn't remember anything he saw. I think that's the only thing we can do. We have to just, just, just keep hitting them in the head until they forget everything. I didn't think you'd be dumb enough to stay. Yep. I could have sworn I saw you earlier on lunch. Now where have I No witnesses. You? Oh, you're the guy from yesterday. The guy who stole my fucking phone. I'd say it's time for some payback. Don't lose heart, Yagamiki. You've already come this far. Right. I can get through this. Oh, they're bringing in the rugby team. Who the fuck are you and why are you in our school? No answer? You're only making this worse on yourself, you know? You're here to swipe some girls in chicken clothes or something? <clears throat> Does this mean we could beat the answers out of him? Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Tommy likes it. Tommy hit that guy? Sick. Okay. I always wonder what it'd be like to shatter a human bone. What the shit? What? Whoa. What is this shit? This guy doesn't mess around, Yakun. We all need to take him at once. Okay. Get him! Fuck you up! What? Holy shit! Huh? Oh, yeah. Crap! Don't let him go! Just your average creeper. This is happening. Okay, this is actually happening. Yagamishi, you can't 
can't get caught now, they'll label you as a sex offender. You don't want that on the news, do you? No, I can't have that. Oh my god, dude. This is, this One is way out so there. wrong. This guy's actually a hot. Beat up all these kids first. He's a dick. Get out of here. You, you're a dick. Get out of here, dick. You're a dick. You're a dick. Oh, you're deaf. Come here. You're like the king dick. There it is. We gave, we gave him a little bit of extra attention. Hi, kid. I'd like to state the co-carnage industries not condone any of the gameplay that you see currently on the screen. <laughs> we do not condone the uh, attacking of miners in any way, shape, or form. Um, <laughs> Poor kid! Alright, big guy, let's do this. Oh, God. Oh, that's not good. How do you know how to do this? Oh, let's, okay, let's do it. When a powerful enemy emits an aura, they're about to use a deadly attack. These deal huge damage, but can be countered with proper timing. A special kind of counterattack is called a mortal reversal. Press X right before a deadly attack gets to evade. Okay. Damn. Alright kids. Can we go around and check their pulses? <sighs> uh, should I have gone easier on them? Never mind those guys. You need to make yourself scared. Unfortunately, you're on your own from here. The three of us need to make our exit now, too. We'll all regroup at the office, okay? <sighs> I got it. Actually took their lunch money. We actually took money from them. To be fair, they didn't deserve it, but that's not the point. Only mild brain damage. Only mild? Fine. I'll still be able to read mostly. Wait, 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 wait. What did I just see? How do I do the tricks? No, hold on. That's not how. Oh my god, please tell me. Please tell me I can slam into these dudes in my. Oh. For real? Okay. Well, what that was this? pretty quick. I'm a skateboard. Gotta try it. 
Those guys had issues, but Co took their tissues. Okay, that's 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 pretty good. Thank you for that. <laughs> hey, Sparks, oh man, you almost got arrested and put on the sex offender list. There's no way I'd screw things up that bad. In all seriousness, those bullies got what was coming. I kind of wish you messed them up worse. That way, they'd never bother Kota-san again. Yeah, but that wouldn't really solve the problem. Not everything can be settled with a fight. What? Wow, look who's talking. But that's where those speakers come into play, isn't it? Yeah, if everything goes as expected. Hey, you did everything you could, right? So we'll see what tomorrow has in store. Hey. Just a little screw chat. Ooh, an exquisite screw. Call it lucky. Guys, Nino, thanks for gifting that sub, buddy. Why am I not doing the side quest? Well, right now, I just kind of want the game to start. Like, the main story. We haven't even started the main story yet. And I'm very curious to see where it's going to go. I'm kind of focusing on that a little bit. Also, for no reason in particular, I know that in uh, a lot of this, at least the last game, we had to get the story going a little bit to get to drone racing. Just saying. Yep. Throwing that out there. Yo, so are you gonna come out to lunch with us or what? Huh? Don't you have anything more to say than that, Coda? Get your ass up. Come on, Matsun's really not in the mood to deal with your shit today. I'll just eat lunch here, okay? Huh? You're giving us lip now? I guess you won't be needing this stuff then. <sighs> we told you to get your ass up, you little slut. Oh, maybe you've started fucking guys on your lunch break now? <laughs> You're out here living the dream, Jesus. aren't you? <laughs> Enough! Get your ass up! What's the fucking holdup, Coda? You should be thanking us for even inviting you to come. So slow. I can't fucking stand you. Well, damn. So much for my appetite. You guys are making me sick. Hey, who the fuck said that? We're making you sick, huh? You guys talking about us? You see anyone else being assholes? Of course he's talking about you. Yeah, I've about had it with you punks. This shit's getting old. The oh my fuck? god, they're Ganging doing up it. on the same girl day after day make you feel real big? Unfucking believable that it takes three of them to do the job. Seriously, you guys? 
You're taking Koda's side here? You know she's just a whore, right? You okay, Koda-san? Just ignore these losers. How low can you go? Calling someone a whore isn't gonna win you any points. Right. Let's hear it for the picture of purity over here. Uh, what the hell? Hey! She can dish it, but she can't take it. Hope the boys are watching. What? What the fuck, man? If you wanna talk shit, say it to my face. What part of this don't you understand? <sighs> y yeah. You know what? It guys? worked! It's true. You guys just need to leave her alone. He's right. He's totally right. What's your problem with her anyway? Yeah, Koda didn't do anything wrong, guys. Exactly. So back off Koda-san already. Stop acting like little punks. Get the hell out of here. When you guys going to lunch, go choke on a chopstick. Oh, how does it feel now? Just get going, would you? Yeah. Toss them out. Well, look, they the saw him bullying! <laughs> Fuck this. Yeah. Let's just go. <laughs> Fuck it. Wow. I've never seen those kids band together like that. They all knew what was going on in there, though. It can be hard to speak up even when you know something happened. I have to admit, this is, this is like, it's endearing. And it's nice, but it's it's a little it's a little weird. I don't. Right in front of you is wrong. I mean, it's a good message. Not so different from adults, right? Yagami-san, was everything we just witnessed part of your plan? It's just psychology. There's this concept called the bystander effect. He's not wrong. According to the psychologists, when a person witnesses an incident, there's three things that run through their mind if other people are in the vicinity. One. If no one else acts, it must not be urgent. Two, if no one else acts, I don't have to take action either. And three, if I take action alone, I'll embarrass myself. The result? Everybody stands there and nobody takes action. I just figured if I could get even one person to step up and raise their voice, it would spur the rest of them to push past their inability to act. This doesn't apply to bullying, though. Way. This applies to like you ever seen a flock of them hesitating to take everything. The like this is this one is a real, a very real thing. The all start following after him. The first penguin, you say? It's a fascinating term for a display of bravery. I've heard it said that overseas in America, the first penguin is a symbol of respect. So for Yagamishi, that would mean your voice was the first penguin in that classroom. I can't say for certain this resolved your bullying problem, but here's hoping it's at least a good first step. You, to be to be fair, we do say that here in America. You you strive to be the first penguin. It's true. They're gone. You should be safe from them for a while. I mean, he's not lying. <laughs> I was the first penguin many times in my class growing up. I was. I had a pen and everything. <clears throat> Erica. Although we didn't call them penguins, we called them freedom birds. Want to be the first freedom bird. What do you say we monitor the situation for now? <clears throat> it might not be wise for adults to intervene just yet. I suppose your plan has worked out for the better. But it should be teachers and administrators handling these matters, not detectives. You know what? I couldn't agree more. Then if you'll excuse me. Kaido's like, oh, but, but your number. Oh, come on, man. Lighten up a little. You didn't have to rub it in her face. You know what she thinks? She thinks we're some bums off the street trying to meddle in academic affairs. Not wrong. Well then, I apologize on her behalf. But Yagami-san, that was some magic you worked there. Hard to admit this at my age, but I learned quite a bit from what you did. <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. Good stuff, Yagami-san. <laughs> Naturally. I knew you would deliver. <laughs> huh? Oh, okay, wait, 
Main story stuff. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Sorry, I have to take this. Hey, turn on the television right? now. This is Shiosaki. Do you have a minute? Uh, sure. Oh. I have a rather urgent request for you. It concerns a trial we've been involved with. Listen, sorry, son. Uh, I'm a little busy. I don't know if I can take a rush job at the moment. We aren't even in Kamacho right now. Actually, I'm in Yokohama. Really? That's interesting. I'm helping Sugiura out with a case for his new agency. We're on site right now. At Serio High School. Uh, sorry, son? You there? Serio High? Somewhere near Ijincho? Is that the school? Hmm? Huh? Have you heard of it? A college-age student teacher from that school went missing about two months ago. It was all very sudden. Huh. I think I heard something about that, actually. He himself was a Seiryu High graduate. He'd returned to his alma mater to finish his teaching credential. Just a sec. How do you know so much about this? The teacher's name is Hiro Mikoshiba, and his body was discovered a few days ago. They found him in one of Ichincho's abandoned buildings. Huh? The body was badly decomposed, but Kanagawa police have just released his identity. Moments ago, in fact. Moments ago? This is gonna end today? Thing is, someone else knew Mikoshiba was dead, before the police even confirmed it. A sex offender, Akihiro Ehara. I defended him in court. The day Mikoshiba disappeared, Ehara was arrested at the station for groping. He's also an active duty officer. So you're saying he committed the murder too? No. The victim was still alive while Ehara was at the station in Tokyo committing sexual battery. He was caught and arrested on the spot. And he's been in jail for the two months since. So if I have this right, he has an alibi for the murder? Right. But there's more to it. A few days ago, someone lit flares at the location of Mikoshiba's body. It obviously couldn't have been Ahara, so I suspect that's the real culprit. But whoever that is, is somehow connected to Ahara. Yeah. Otherwise, there's no other way he could have known about the body. Exactly. There's clearly more to Ahara than an officer turned groper. More than likely, he's an accomplice to murder. Okay. So do we have a motive? Uh, yeah, I was gonna say, we're we gonna get to this Four part? Four years ago, Ehara's only son hung himself in their home. He was a student at Seiryo High at the time. And the way Ehara sees it, his death was the result of bullying at the hands of his classmate, Mikoshiba. You mean it's revenge? In that case, could he possibly have hired someone else to kill the guy in his stead? It's highly likely. As for my request, I'd like to see what you can find out. Mikoshiba's murder is too suspicious. Up until today, I wrote Ehara off as just another train groper. But he got arrested for that on the exact day that Mikoshiba was killed. It can't be a coincidence. I mean, you couldn't ask for a better alibi than being arrested for a different crime, right? Otherwise, the cops would have pinned him as suspect number one. But groping as an alibi? Why go to all that trouble? There had to have been a better way than that. I'm worried. As his attorney, I have to admit there's a chance Ehara planned this, which means I've made a critical oversight. Even worse, I let a misguided court issue a verdict. I can't allow that to stand. I need to reconsider both the harassment and the murder, because I think the truth is these cases are one and the same. All right, well... What can I do for you? Can you see if anyone at Seiryu High will talk about Mikoshiba? Right now, we need more information. And the first thing we should focus on is how and why he disappeared. That could give us a lead. So, does this mean you're hiring me? It does. Consider it an official request, if you would. Okay, I'm on it. <laughs> no better feeling than when the jobs line up perfectly. Damn!
Woo, my lord. Ijincho, Yokohama, a harbor town where rotting secrets rarely stay uncovered. The deceased was a student teacher who had vanished from a high school Yagami was investigating. Yet the linchpin to this case, a police officer named Ahara, was arrested for a different crime, a train groping that shocked the nation. Upon hearing the verdict, Ahara gave the court an ominous revelation that the son he had lost was avenged. Nice transition. That was kind of a slow start, but man, that was a nice ramp. Ooh. Before I go all in, can we go over the defendant's profile? That way I'll have something to work with. Sure. Akihiro Ahara, age 53, senior officer with Tokyo PD, convicted of sexual battery. He'd been stationed in Shinjuku and lived alone in Tokyo. That is, until his arrest. Lived alone? Unmarried then? His wife moved to Yokohama without him seven years ago, when their son Toshiro started at Saviyo High. Toshiro-kun ended up taking his life in his third year. That's four years ago if you're counting. And the couple never reconciled, huh? Apparently, his wife wanted nothing to do with him from that point on. That's it for personal details. All right. As for the charge, Ehar has maintained his innocence. We've had no luck getting him to budge. Mind you, the prosecution has plenty against him. Security camera surveillance, eyewitness footage, even trace evidence gathered on scene. The same footage the media was plastering on TV? Yes. Although some of it was edited for privacy or length, but it painted a clear enough picture. Hard to dispute something you can see right in front of you. True. And what about when they handed down the Why verdict? did that guy take his Ahara glasses off? off the handle or something? It's like they yeah, wanted them to identify it. them. Your Honor, in a warehouse, the blind about him? three days Maybe. ago, a body turned up in Yokohama. So itchy. The body belongs to a guy named Hiro Mikoshiba. Four years ago, Free glasses? this man took oh, my son yeah. from me by driving him to commit suicide. Ehara seemed convinced that Mikoshiba had Thank you, believed Gazoo. his son, and to get his justice, he even took Seireo High to court. However, the court ruled against him, claiming there was no substantial evidence of bullying. Chairman mentioned that lawsuit. I'm sure Ihara wasn't thrilled with the verdict. I still need to dig into the court record of that case to see if there's anything of value. Sounds like I'm on deck, then. I've got someone involved in the case right in front of me. Who? The chairman of Serio High himself. Are you talking about <laughs> me? I don't know how you pull these things off, Yagami-san. But let me give you a word of caution. I'm listening. Mikoshiba's murder hasn't been made public yet. So please don't go around talking about it. Especially at his school. The Kanagawa police will investigate the school soon enough. And if they find out everyone already knows... <sighs> They'd show us the door, lock it behind them and probably charge us with obstruction. Exactly. Oh, and before I send you Mikoshiba's photo, there's one last thing you should know. What's that? Ehara's ruling was the day before yesterday. That means we only have 13 more days to potentially file an appeal. We need to file an appeal in order to show the court our dissatisfaction with the verdict. But if we don't appeal in two weeks, the court will assume we have nothing left to argue and process the defendant as charged. Does this game have a time limit? Move, Ehara will walk out of court with a sex offense charge and a minor slap on the wrist. And once his case is closed, it would take a miracle to get it reopened, even if there had been a critical oversight. Right. I'm sorry to give you a time limit instead of a viable solution. Don't worry. I'll have to make do. Real life 13 now, let's days? Just keep in touch. Maybe. Thanks, and good luck. Yo, what was that about? <laughs> sorry. Give me one more sec. Mm. Okay. Actually, Kaito-san, can I fill you in later? I need to get some answers from the chairman. Hmm? 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 Okay. He seems, the chairman seems so nice. He's like such a nice guy. 
Guys, this has been amazing. I'm sorry to leave right when it's picking up, but I unfortunately have to go. Uh, I'm going to go check on my wife and my new baby in the hospital and get some lunch and do all that fun stuff. But yes, unfortunately, I have to go. Uh, I will be back maybe this afternoon uh, for some Pathfinder and maybe tonight for some Pathfinder. I don't know, to be honest. It all depends on um, how things go with my wife and my new little one. So I will let you guys know on Twitter, whatever's happening. Um, I might be back for two different streams. I might be back for one more stream. I may not be back until tomorrow. I don't know. So on that note, I really appreciate you guys chilling out. <laughs> Biner says, wait, a third baby? Yes, my, my third son was born yesterday, day before. Time is like blending together. Um, but yeah, just recently, <laughs> my new son was, was born. And uh, he's still at the hospital with my wife. And they're, we're waiting to kind of get all the approvals to bring him home. So yeah, Sunday, 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 so two days ago. Um, rip my sleep. I know. I know. Thank you for the congrats, guys. I really do appreciate it. That being said, I got to go for now. I will be back tomorrow morning for sure, most likely, for more judgment. And if I don't see you for that, see you hopefully today at some point for some Pathfinder. See you guys then. Bye-bye.